today's video is going to be 25 things I've learned or 25 things I have experienced since I've been born. 25 years ago, since I've been born. <laughs> I turned 25 at the end of May this year and I wanted to make this video a little time capsule for myself. Number one on my list of 25 things, it doesn't hurt to ask. That's the motto. Number two is to clean up as you go. And this is basically for use in the kitchen, uh, cleaning up your pots and pans as you go will save you a lot of trouble after you have finished your delicious meal that you have made instead of going out to eat. <laughs> Number three is to do nice things for strangers and not boast about it on social media. A couple weeks ago, I saw a homeless woman and I, out of the kindness of my heart, <laughs> Just kidding. <laughs> Sometimes you can do that because it may remind someone that, hey, maybe they can pay for the person's McDonald's behind them and then it'll be uh, $20 more than you bought for yourself, but you'll still pay for it because you're a nice person anyway. Just an example. Number four is that taking medication for your mental health is not a sign of a weakness. And number five, following up with that, is that your mental health is so, so important and it matters. A heck of a lot. <laughs> Woo! <laughs> Good times. Number six is shampoo less. You don't need to wash your hair every day. <laughs> Number seven is you don't have to shave your legs if you don't want to. I have not shaved my legs since November of 2017 and I do have lighter hair so you can't really really tell unless I'm in the car and the sun is beaming into your windows and my legs glisten with light blondish leg hairs. Number eight, laughter really is the best medicine. Ew, that was so cheesy, whatever, moving on. Number nine is that a great group of supportive friends can really reignite the fire that you have for some of the things that you are passionate about. For example, this YouTube channel would not be up and running in 2020 or maybe ever if it wasn't for some close friends of mine who passively and also not passively bullied me and gave me the confidence that I needed to do this for not only myself, but because there's people out there that want to see my content, aka like 17 people. 10 is that you have full control of how much social media you consume. If you have an iPhone, there are daily limits that you can set on some of your social media apps and you can choose to ignore them for 15 minutes at a time or you can choose to listen to the limits that you've set for yourself or even delete certain apps if you know that that is what it takes for you to not scroll through Facebook for 45 minutes as you lay in bed in the morning. Number 11 is don't be afraid to ask questions in fear of feeling stupid. Ask questions, that's a good thing to do. <laughs> Number 12 is to spend time with yourself in terms of maybe going to the movies alone or going to a restaurant. Hang out with yourself, girl, do it. Number 13, your Justin Bieber phase was never just a phase. You just get older. <laughs> number 14 is that it is better to have loved and lost than to have never loved at all <laughs> number 15 is spf is cool use it wear sunscreen every day and protect your skin number 16 is that true friendships can withstand distance and time spent apart from each other and you can pick up right where you left off and it'll be as if time never passed I don't know what this was. Sun never passed. Number 17 is that black lives matter. And number 18 is that my public education failed to educate me how much injustice there is against black communities. Number 19 is that you will never be too much for the right person. That took me a while to understand. <laughs> number 20 is you don't need to do two loads of laundry for your whites and your colored clothes. Just do them both the 21st century. Number 21 is plants. Buy plants. Buy one house plant. Buy a succulent. They make me feel so happy. <laughs> Don't cry. Number 22 is that journaling daily can be very therapeutic for you. 23 is that your life without choir or any type of singing sucks. I haven't really been in a big choir setting since I graduated college in 2017, except for doing the candlelight processional at Epcot, going from singing every day in a choral setting to 
not having a group of people to connect with on that musical level sucks. <laughs> My paper's flying away. Number 24 is something that I'm very passionate about and really proud of myself for fully embracing. I haven't worn an underwire bra on a regular basis since 2016. That was four wow my life is so much better society tells us women that anything other than a perfectly round breast is taboo so if your nipples are showing because god forbid it's under 50 degrees that may be a little bit scandalous or that makes people uncomfortable your nipples which you have to feed your future children if you decide to have children someday and breastfeed <laughs> comfort over everything number 25 is that your quirks make you beautiful <laughs> Thank you for watching and you're welcome for making the video. I hope you enjoyed it and make sure you subscribe if you would like to. If not, then don't because I don't care what you do. Just kidding, I do and I would like the affirmation. We'll see you next time. No, I did not have that burp planned. It has just been floating up my esophagus this entire video and I think that's an appropriate way to end it.